Hi everybody, my name is Shayla and I do these videos every hump day. As some of you may be wondering, and probably most of you not, where in the world am I? <laughs> I'm at my dad's house. My sister kicked me out because Bennett is too small to be around. Sick. As I kind of alluded to in the last video, I am recently single, yes, and everybody wants to know about it, which is fine. I'm kind of an open book to a fault. Like, I'll just tell you anything you want to know. This is not going to be like a super emotional video, like a throwing under the bus video. It's not going to be bad. It's going to be more of like a explaining to you the process of getting through this all. I may have to take coughing breaks because... So the first thing I'm going to say about processing a relationship is respect yourself, okay? If something happens in the relationship that is not how you would treat somebody else, you need to respect yourself enough to say, I deserve more than this, and I'm going to move along. Sounds super easy. You're just going to walk away and be like, okay, here are all my feelings. I don't feel anything. Bye. No. Not the way it goes. And if it takes you two weeks of becoming a crazy psycho person, then that's your, that's your processing cycle, okay? You get to be that crazy person for two weeks. That is not, I am not, I am not that girl. Usually, unless it's just for two weeks and then I realize it and then I am not that girl anymore. Thing number two that I wanna say is, you just gotta let yourself feel. You gotta crack open your heart and just let it bleed everywhere. I did this multiple times. One morning I woke up and I was like, yoga. I don't wanna go to yoga. Yes, Shaylee, you do. Fine, I'll go to yoga. Yoga is a place where you can cry. You can just cry. So I walk into the classroom. There's one other person in this class. Do you know how hard it is to cry in a classroom? You, the teacher, and one other person? Really hard. And I looked at her and I was like, sorry you're not getting a, a private today. No, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Me too, lady, how do you know? The other time that I cried, you don't want to ugly cry in front of your sister. Amber, are you going to bed soon? Am I? Yeah, I think so. But are you like gonna go to bed out here watching TV? Or are you gonna go to bed in your room? I don't know. Are you going to bed here or are you going to bed in your room? Because I need to go cry it out in the room right now and I just need to be by myself. Now it's just a wall that's separating us and you can hear me sniffling, but I just need you to be in here. Mm -hmm. One day, I had to drive to Nebraska for something. And that was like 16 hours in the car. Do you know how healing that was? Maroon 5 was my best friend. Singing duets like champions through my waterfall of tears. I was crying sometimes so hard that I thought I was gonna pass out. Should I pull over because I might pass out right now <laughs> from crying. I know I keep saying it that I was ugly crying but honestly I'm like a beautiful crier. Yeah my my chin doesn't like quiver and turn all walnutty like and my lips don't like go down and I don't get like blotchy red faces really. It's just like anyone driving by I'd be like, wow, who's that hottie? <sighs> no. Thing number three, some alone time. You need some alone time. I am an open book. I want to tell the new postman that I, my boy, hey, guess what? I am single and I'm not even hitting on you. But for two weeks, I was very embarrassed with the situation. So I didn't tell anybody. And that was probably the best decision I could have made. I sat and processed them myself. And I read somewhere in like some website about what to do when you break up with your boyfriend. <laughs> Which lots of losers are on, obviously. Anyways, it recommended journaling. And if you read any of my profound shit on Facebook or Instagram or anything, that was probably written at 3 a.m. when my heart was breaking open and I was just clutching and I was just writing everything that I was thinking. So journaling really helps. Get your emotions in order. Oh, this is how I feel. And I didn't reread those messages till like three weeks later. And then I went back and I was like, oh. okay, you are quite the writer. Thing number four. What to do with social media? Ugh. First thing is first, I blocked everything. And I told them, I was like, look, just so you know, I'm going to be blocking you on all of the things. All of the things. I blocked everything. Not because I hate him and I'm like, ugh, I can't, blah, blah. It was too painful to see anything that he was doing or posting, and that has been the best thing that I could have done because I just don't want to see what you're up to. And it's been great. So I would highly recommend that. The other thing is on my Instagram, ugh, you will see like a thousand photos of our past year together doing all the cool things. I left them all up. Do you know why? Because they happened. And and they were great. They were great. If I look through those pictures right now, they make me happy. Because I know that I had an amazing year. Yeah, it's over and I'm sad, but I know that there's a lot more to come. I'm just not gonna go erase my past year just because someone's face is in the picture. If that messes you up in the head to like see all these pictures of all these things that you did together then delete everything. Get rid of it all. Anyways, last thing is leaving yoga class. Got in my car just waterworks immediately. 
And like people were still coming out of the yoga class, so I had to get out of there. I went to the neighboring parking lot and just parked. And I'm texting my friends like, Whoa, I'm crying and how do I deal with this? And one of them was like, Sheila, what you need to do is learn something new. That's genius because that's what I love doing. I love going out and learning new things. So the thing that I picked up was bumbling. And if you don't know what Bumble is, is it's an app where you get to like find people to, to hang out with, right? It's also a dating app, like that's what most people use it for, but I feel like it's a good way to meet people around who wanna do stuff. What you need to do is learn something new and make future plans. And I understand that not everyone's gonna be like, I'm just gonna go travel all over, like, no. But you can say, I'm gonna have dinner with my friend this night, on this group on thing this night, yoga this day, and it just helps to give you something to look forward to. Obviously, all relationships are different. Some people aren't traveling the world for a year and then are apart for a month and then over. Some relationships, you're still gonna see your person at work or you're still gonna see this, but you just have to say thank you for the time we had together. I loved hard and I regret nothing. Give me this time to process hard and to feel everything and not deny any of my feelings and ugly cry the shit out of yoga class, that's fine. Journal, take some alone time, learn something new. And if bumbling is your thing to learn, do it. If you're like, oh, it's too soon for that, I can't do it, then don't do it. Just know that everything's gonna be okay and it's all gonna be I hope this was helpful for some of you, and I hope that you could find some lightness in the situation. I, I am making this very light. It's not light, like obviously I'm crying where I can't breathe. It's hard breaking up with someone that you love. But that's why you need to respect yourself enough to know when it's time, and to know when someone doesn't respect you enough to stay with them. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. You can check me out on Instagram. I look forward to hearing from you. If you have any more tips about how to process a breakup, let me hear him. It's not like I'm done processing. All right guys, thank you so much. I will see you all next week. Bye. <coughs>